tell me about your story and about why you care. Um, what was that moment? There has there's usually a couple of moments, but there's usually a moment where you decide um, that it's important that I care about this. So, so for me, there was this long trajectory that got me here. I've been working in violence prevention, honestly, since high school. Um, mostly, had worked in kind of issues around gender-based violence, sexual assault, domestic violence, um, and had done some work in community violence as well. Had been told early on in my career um, that I could do research and do clinical interventions around violence prevention, but that firearms were an off-limits topic. Um, But then soon after um, I became an attending, I was working um, in the ED on a Saturday night in July, and we got a call from EMS that they were coming in um, with a gunshot, with a victim with a gunshot wound. And when they rolled in, the room went quiet because it wasn't at all what we were expecting. Um, It was not a victim of community violence, a GSW kind of that happened on the street. It was actually a young man who had shot himself in the head. And he was also white. And that case sat with me for so many reasons, Pamela. It sat with me because it was at that point the first time that I had ever seen someone try to hurt themselves with a gun. And as we'll talk about, it turns out that that's actually the most common reason for gun deaths. The second part was the way in which it absolutely illustrated the degree to which structural racism played a part in my, our willingness to not talk about guns and gun violence. And the third part was I had just done a fellowship in injury prevention. I'd spent you know, my life thinking about how do we stop this? And it hit me how ridiculous it was that I was accepting this theoretical ban on my talking about the mechanism by which so many people were hurting and dying. And again, that ripple effect on communities simply because someone said I couldn't talk about it. And that it struck me that there was no reason that I couldn't start to change the conversation around firearms, start to use those same techniques that we use for every other type of injury for guns. 